Yo, 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 what's up, everybody? What's up? It's your boy, The Gatorographer, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, coming back at you with another unboxing video. And today, we're going to be unboxing the metal roaster case for my cell phone, for the S23 Ultra. Dog! So we're going to be using this case. This is a case I've never, I've never purchased anything from this company. I try to get different cases for every phone that I purchase so I can use different cases. Don't get me wrong, Autobox is still a mainstay, but trying to use other cases and give them a try because you can get used to one, but there's a lot of, you know, players in the game now that give, give you that, that good protection, just like Autobox. This company, I've never, I mean, like I said, I never um, bought anything from, but it's L-U-P. H I E again. That's L U P H I E Loopy Loppy Loopy. Um, this is the Fast and Furious um, phone case. So without further ado, let's get into the Eagle Eye view so we can see how how it looks and how it feels and the texture of it. So let's get into the Eagle Eye view. Welcome to the Eagle Eye view, everybody. And today, this is going to be our unboxing knife today. Nice. The master steel but before we get to that this is how the unboxing looks again i could not pronounce the name but there go the name right there l-u-p-h-i-e fast and furious so let's go ahead and get this puppy open so there's only one tab to worry about today that this baby right here is going to cost you around about 22 between 22 and 27 dollars I like how that slides out. Okay, nothing in here. Okay. And we got a little tool in here. Okay, so uh, I guess we got to do some. We got to do some. Oh, this is different. We have to do some assembling here. Oh, man. This is, um. so you ain't going to get this off. So once this gets on, it doesn't come off. <laughs> <laughs> okay i see it okay so let's go ahead and take a tour this is how it looks um i'm guessing that all this do come off because they're the actual um screws are here so we'll, we'll keep those in there i want to lose none as we take it so this is the case so let's go ahead and take it apart Yo, 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 what's up? It's your boy, The Ghettoographer, coming in here to bring you a break in the video. Asking you, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and share this content with somebody. Hey, we're trying to get deeper into the YouTube algorithms, so I just want you to please share, like, subscribe, so we can grow this unboxing community. Now, back to the regular video. Oh. Now, I found out that when they say metal, they mean metal. I thought it was just some thing with no, but this is not plastic. This is actually metal going around here. Look at that. That's metal. So what we have to do in order to get it off, that's why we have the tool. Because now in order to get this puppy off, we have to use the tool. So let's see if we can, yep. So in order to get this puppy off and get everything running, we have to use the tool. So why don't I go ahead and use this tool to get everything out and then we'll be right back with the video. All right, guys, we are done. We have unscrewed it, so it comes off. So it comes in three, you have the bumper. You have the back, you have the screws. I'm gonna put the screws down here so I will not lose these screws. So it comes in three pieces. So now what I'm understanding is that once you put this thing on, you have to unscrew it to get it off, which is kind of kind of neat, but kind of scary because you ever need to take it off, you can't get it off without the, um, without the, um, the screw so without the tool so let me put like this to you it's, it's almost like once you once you go into it you ain't supposed to come out of it so it's like a it's like a a roach trap for your phone i guess 
So why don't we go ahead and get the phone and put it on and see how it looks and see how it feels in the hand. Got the phone, guys. Here we go. So this goes right in here like this. So it goes in there like that. And then... So we take that, put it in here. Got to make sure all the edges thing goes around. So it's in the bumper. Now the one thing you have to also do is that this little flap that came off goes right here. So, and then you put the face on. Let me show I got the face right. Okay. There we go. So, we got grills and stuff right here. So, we put, make sure you get that piece on. And there it goes. It's in there. So, that's how it looks. Everything is in place like it should be. So, what we're going to do now is go ahead and put the screws back in it. And I'll show you how it looks to put a couple of screws back into it. So I see why they gave you so many screws, because they know they knew that you might lose some screws. Okay, so I don't think it came with all the screws you need. So we need like, then we need two more. Maybe three more screws. So that's one thing they I, I will applaud them for. They did they did not put every last screw in here. So we'll be right back, I guess. I'm gonna get all the screws in. Alright guys, we're finished and this is how it looks with the phone. And now one thing I can say about this, um, it gives an extra heft to the phone. Meaning that the phone was already kind of not heavy, but it has some heft to it. This right here, if you throw this at somebody, you could probably knock them out. So it gives it a little bit more, a lot more heft. Um, but this is how it looks. Fast and Fear Design by Luke Fries. This is how everything, and it, I mean, it feels good. Now it gives it a more boxy, more context, you know, more boxy feel to it. So, you know, so, you know, grips here. It's, it's, I like it. Heavier than what I would have thought it'd be, but I do like it. This is the old case for my 22. Uh, I kind of carved it out a little bit so it could fit this until I got my new case. But you can see this is plastic. You can see this is, you know, just got leather here, but this is plastic. This is metal, guys. This is all metal. So, um, there you go. You have your, your charger. And you have your um your right there, your put your pin come out right there, charge your pin. So why don't we go ahead and see it will it like impede charging? So I'll be right back. Guys, I got my this is my charging one of my one of my bricks, my charging bricks, you see. Um now I'm gonna tell you something. This right here is precise if you have anything fatter than something fatter than this it most likely will not fit in you see how precise that cutout is in there so this fits in pretty good so if you hook up any other accessories to your phone to use it or to um you no know, might use your phone you might have a um use it for like video you know get microphone to it 
So you will have you will have to sorry for shaking the camera, guys. You have to have something no thicker than this, or it won't fit. Um, I mean, it probably you can force it in because it is only plastic or rubber um, in between this, in between the um, two metal things is rubber, a rubber insole. So I think you can fit more stuff in there. But like I said, the cut the cutout is very precise. But I do like it. I do like it. it gives enough heft to it. But you know, it's it's it, you can. It'll fall on the face. It got the ridges right there. So, you know, I don't know how it would do if I put a um if I put a um a screen protector on. Maybe I'll do that next and see how it holds up. Cause sometimes with these bigger screens, the screen protectors kind of come off with different type of cases. So let's get to the regular view, give you my final thoughts. Yo, 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 welcome back. Welcome back to my final thoughts. Not gonna give it a grade right now, but I do got some thoughts about it. You know, mess around with it for a couple of minutes. And there's two things I'm going to start off that I don't like about it. I don't like the weight. The weight, this is heavy, guys. It has another, I don't know how much it weighs. I don't have a scale, but it has a little bit, not a lot, but a little bit more weight. To the fact of the matter, if the Chainsaw, Texan Chainsaw Massacre guy, Leatherface was coming after you, you could actually block the, you know, the blade coming towards you with your phone and it will survive that's how heavy this thing is you know somebody you know trying to run away from one of your kids and you know you could just throw this chuck inside them and it'll knock them back in the back of the head make them fall forward and it'll come back to you like a boomerang this thing is heavy i can knock you out with this thing you know what i'm saying wah, wah, wah. yep i can knock you out so it gives a you know gives some some heft to it but it also is not as good in the hand you know, it doesn't feel the ergonomics just slip away when you put this bad billy on. It's, it feels like a big, you remember that hydrogen phone, that, that red, red, red one phone that they, I never held one, but this is what it looks like and it feels like to me. But other than that, if you drop it, your phone should survive. It should survive. I mean, if you drop this in the bathroom, it will probably crack the towel. That's how strong and sturdy this is. Um... I think I do like it better than the Autobox. Um, not because of the half. Autobox Auto are a lot lighter, but because of the fact that, yeah, the screws are going to be a pain in the butt when you want to take this thing out. But the clips on the Autobox are some trash as of late. Last time I had an Autobox, my wife had an Autobox. Every one of the clips on the side broke off that we had to replace it. Oh, we had to send it back, send it to them. They'll send us another one back. So I don't know what they're making those clips off paper or paper mache, um, maybe some um, styrofoam, maybe cardboard. I don't know. But you don't have to never worry about your clips falling off or breaking off the tabs around to keep this together. This is heavy. It feels okay in the hand, but it adds a, a significant bulk and it changed the ergonomics of this. So, so far, I can't give it a grade. There's some things I do like about it, and there's some things I don't like about it as of right now. So the jury's out, and I'm gonna probably I'm, I am going to do an in an on scene review, in car review of this once I've had it, used it, and all that jazz. So and you can see, look, this is my old one. You know, made out of rubber. You know, not that much. It does add that. It does add a little bit more bulk to to your phone. You know, even this flimsy thing. You know, got the shock proof around it, so drop it, it should bounce back up in your hand, and you can bounce it back and bounce back, you know, a little, little something. But this thing here, you will, you will, you will go to jail if you hit somebody with this, you will kill them. It'll be first phone felony that if you ever hit somebody in the head with this. So that's what I think about it. Um, I think it's worth it. I think I've never used a, a case like this where you have to screw it in, but hopefully it will last. So give me about two weeks to really use it and i can give you my pros and cons other than the two i gave you but guys that's it for this unboxing do me a favor hey like share and subscribe to the channel I want to thank everybody we're at a hundred and i mean 550 let's get up to 650 guys um please like share and subscribe so we can grow this unboxing community and do me a favor hit the um bell icon um 
that bell icon, you know, is very important because if you don't hit it, you don't get the notifications that I've dropped any video. So hey, turn on that bell icon so you can get all the video um, that's coming in the future. Hey, once again, this is your boy, The Gatogra, a.k.a. Pastor Tech, thank you for coming on with me on another unboxing journey. We took the unboxing journey with the Metal Roaster case by Lippy or Luppy, L-U-P-H-I-E. Can't pronounce the name, but you know the name. It'll be a link in the description. So thank you for coming on with me, another unboxing journey. And I got some more unboxes coming your way. So see you soon. You have a good day. Peace.